Hello, I'm Andrew Walker and I run a blog of my 3D printing activities called Unique Plastique and uh, I produce everything through a company called Shapeways who are awesome and through Shapeways I've received my first bit of 3D printing kind of work, business opportunity which is from a graphic design museum in Groningen in Holland um, who are interested in 3D printed items for their gift shop, which has been very exciting for me because you know 3D printing kind of started as a bit of a hobby, sort of tested out, and now um, I'm really getting excited about it. And I've just received my first parcel from Shapeways of a, a prototype, an actual product prototype of devised. Uh, I'm a big, I'm an ex graphic designer. I say X, I don't think you ever become an X graphic designer. I still do uh, design work. Um, but I, I work in technology and in all kinds of other areas as well. I don't do very much graphic design. But I'm a huge fan of typography. And so the idea I'd had for a uh, graphic design museum was to make typographic cufflinks. And typographic cufflinks, you know, do exist. There are some you can self build on Shapeways using one of their sort of model creators, which is, you know, very cool. But all of them tend to work the same way. They extrude the letters from a base plate. So it's a little bit like, you know, fancy, um, very, you know, clear-cut embossing. And I wanted to make it so the type would kind of float um, by being supported on little arms. So as you can see here, there's um, a model of my cufflink design. You can see it's, there we go, you can see it's lots of little arms and stanchions. Um, and I made a couple of other changes to it as well. I've made the width of the bar a little bit wider so that it always sits in the right way around the right orientation in um, the buttonhole. And uh, I'd experimented with the size of the button and stuff like this. And, and basically the way I did that was by um, getting a tape measure and measuring my own cufflinks. And in fact, here they are. This is my box of cufflinks, and I have just basically been taking these things and, um, you know, different sizes and experimenting with them and measuring them and then trying to model something using Blender uh, and my little Mac here, um, which is amazing. Blender is a fantastic piece of software. It's free. It's very simple. Um, I will be donating uh, to them via sort of shareware kind of thing. Um, if I actually start making money out of it, that seems like the right thing to do. So I'm very excited. Anyway, here it is. Here it is from Shapeways, and it is time for me to open it and see. Now, I'll be brutally frank with you. I've got no idea if they'll actually work as cufflinks, if I've got the dimensions right. Are they too big? Are they too loose? Do they fit through the buttonhole? Are they strong enough to take the sort of pressures they're under? You know, I may well have designed something that is, is you know, small and cool, but a total turkey. So let's unwrap and find out. I'm just going to see if I can just rest the phone there. Knife, box. This is very exciting for me. It, it may not be exciting for you. You might be sitting there thinking, I'm, I'm watching a guy opening his mail. Um, you know, there's, there's probably cooler stuff on YouTube. Okay, here we are. Here's the box. It's all come nicely prepped. And let's have a look. Okay, so far, so good. There we are. There's my cufflinks. They're, they're looking pretty sweet. Whether or not they'll have the, the strength to actually work as cufflinks, I don't know. I'm going to get the white ones out and give them a good hard push. You know what? That's not too bad. The resolution, as you can see, there we are. The resolution, this is, um, incidentally, just to say, this is a font which is particularly good for 3D printing because of the sort of width of the characters and what have you. This is a font called Lola uh, by Fontsmith. Um, it's, it's pretty sturdy, actually. It's pretty sturdy. I think that We'll take some stick. Um, I've got some in another colour here. I, tr I wanted to try out different materials. I think every time you do a product test you might as well try different materials. So let's have a look at this one. There we go. Um, this is in the blue again. That's That, that I think has actually worked better resolution wise. Um, and that's not bad. And then finally I thought I'd test out how they can do it in 
metals, and so this is in silver. I probably won't put the silver ones into production because they're furiously expensive, but... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Look at that. That is tasty. So, I have here... One I prepared earlier. I've got a shirt here. This is a cuff. Let's see if they fit. This is it, the moment of truth. Um, yeah. Okay. It seems to be going on okay. I think the depth is too far. I think the depth is too far. All right, the button is going through. All right, I'm forcing it a bit. Oh! Check it out. There we are. Graphic. It says graphic. I was thinking, you know, I'd make individual ones, so it'd be graphic, design. You can put any word you like on it, really. Um, and a little bit of typographic art for your wrist. That's not bad. In fact, it's all right, I'm not going to get naked. Let's just put my arm in the shirt and see. That's not bad. That's not bad. And so the idea is, I think I can shorten some of the lengths and some of the positioning on that. Um, certainly the stuff I could do to sort of reduce this dimension. Um, but the letters do actually float. I mean, the idea is, is that you've actually got real words floating on your wrist as you use them. And that's not bad. I'm going to take this one off. Okay. And they, they seem, they feel sturdy enough. They feel sturdy enough in the plastic. Let's try the silver one. Um, the silver one's got much better resolution, as you can see, on my little unique plastic logo there. Um, unfortunately, uh, my design is too fine at the moment to be produced in stainless steel or any of the other metals. But it does seem to uh, work with the silver, which can work at sort of finer sizes and depths. Let's have a feel. That's comfortable. There we are. 3D printed typographic uh, cufflinks, and if you have a look, the button works fine and fits fine. I'm giving it a pull. That's not going to come undone. The button stud so look, actually looks quite tasty there as well. And so, yeah, you know what? If you like typography, you like graphic design, then, you know, this is um, the cufflink for you. I think people visiting Graphic Design Museum in Groningen will like these. I hope so. Um, okay, that's very exciting. I'd only made the one model so far, but I've designed it in a component sort of fashion so I can quickly create new versions. So I think the next step is to start creating an actual product line around this. But right now, based on the production process, based on the feel of that on my wrist, um, yeah, you know what? I'm really pleased that it has actually come back like I was expecting. So, good news uh, for the world of type geeks who wear formal shirts, which is the only downside of it, because obviously we live our lives in hoodies and crappy t-shirts. Um, but failing that, uh, I'm really pleased with the way the product development's going. Okay, I'll say bye-bye. Peace.